Why are you crying, Nozomi-chan? I didn't even do anything. <laughs> what did I do? Huh? Shut up! Jesus Christ, you're so annoying. Yes, sir! We're back! Been a month! What's going on, YouTube? My name is Wendy Stan, and welcome back to some Cafe Still and the Reaper's Butterflies. This is episode 23. We've started. Su Wait, no. Suzuna's route, and I forgot I was upset about that. No, we're we're working on the Zomi's route, so that's what we're gonna do. If you've not seen the previous episode, it's been a month, or you need a refresher, go ahead and watch. It's gonna be on your right hand corner right here. Go ahead and watch it, I'll be waiting for you right here. And without further ado, actually, no, backtrack. If you have any game suggestions, you already know the deal. Let me know in the comment section below. I will check it out. Any game, I don't care. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I promise you. If you do happen to enjoy this video, you should consider hitting that link for your boy. Subscribe if you have not. I put out straight heat. Anyways, without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Heck yeah, I'm so excited to be back. Ah, jeez. Shut up! Jesus Christ, you're so annoying. <coughs> Dang, straight right off the bat, flaming us already. Alright. That kind of hurt. Where's the auto mode again? I, I can't find it. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's right here. It's been a while. Stop calling me that, please, Nozomen. Roused by the sound of Nozomi's voice, I crawl out of my covers. Fully dressed in her uniform, Nozomi stands over me, an aluminum cooking pot in one hand. It's been a while since she's come over to wake me up. What are you doing here anyway? I told you I'm up early these days, so I can wake up on my own. Besides, there's still plenty of time before work. Why? How nice of her. Well, I usually just grab a sandwich and some juice from the convenience store. Hard to really call that a proper breakfast, though. Definitely nowhere near as nutritious as Nozomi's homemade meals. Oh no, please. I shake my hands and my head from side to side. I feel horrible making her do that. I appreciate it, but please don't phrase it like that. Coming from a young woman, it has a naughty ring to it. Alright, alright. I hop out of bed and head towards the bathroom. I rinse my mouth with cold water and splash some on my face. Then after drying myself off with the towel, I return to the table. Thank you. <laughs> As the saying goes, Nozomi, my friend, if you haven't seen a man in three days, don't be surprised at how much he's changed. I lift my chin smugly. Oh, true. I quickly, I quickly lower my chin. It's because I'm around boobs all the time. You think so? I give her assessment a bit of the thought as I take a sip of her miso soup. True, I have finally settled into a regular routine. But aside from that, all I've really improved at is waking up early and cooking though. That's about it. I guess I have lost a bit of weight. I was fat? Suzuna's son works me like a dog. More specifically, it's like I'm being drained rather than slimming out. Yeah, but you're nice, so you compliment everyone. Oh, can I have some more, by the way? Zomi's always been this way. That's why I can't be myself around her without worrying about being judged. She's a great person all around. And she has ginormous jugs. Blushing slightly, she hands me a second bowl of rice. I guess my comment embarrassed her. Thanks. You sure about that, though? But don't we make you mad? Are there even any, are there every, are there even any people you hate? Wait, 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 wait. Oh. I, I just started a new year and I'm already messing up like this. I am so sorry. You guys deserve better. Are there even any people like that? Her chopsticks come to a hot as she broods. Huh? 
Oh, that was us. And I'm very sorry about that. I bowed my head in apology. Hey, should have seen that one coming. Nothing's wrong with fetishes, all right? <laughs> That's actually the funniest line I've heard in this series. Uh, I don't know about that. That was the funniest line I've heard in a game. At least in this game. Where he's like, SHOW ME YOUR DIRTY panties." Like, bro, imagine... Like, that's not how you riz up a girl. If that's your method, you need to study some quantum rizics. Because that ain't it, boy. No comment. I hate her. Sometimes. She gives me a playful wink. Oh, she definitely wants my shoe. Whenever she does things like this, I feel my heart skip a beat. I often forget since I've known her for so long, but Nozomi's actually super sweet and pretty attractive to boot. Truth be told, she's actually quite the catch. Speaking of which, what about you, Nozomi? Do you have any dates planned with anyone this Christmas? Absolutely zero shame. Why would she be shamed for that? Normally, you'd expect her to be somewhat hesitant to answer, but I guess we do have the kind of relationship where we can be frank with one another. Well, I'm sure you'd be able to snag a date with any number of guys if you really wanted to. Fair point. So by that logic, there's nothing wrong with me not having a date for Christmas either. It's your juggies. I mean, she stares at me, wide-eyed. Why is that so surprising? Honestly, yeah, everyone except for you, but I mean, since I kind of want to follow the guide, that's why you're next, but... Yeah. She right? She right? I'm not gay! Hold up, one of those people is clearly not like the others. Uh, she's supportive of us being gay. I mean, sure, I do like everyone at work, and we do get along fine. In terms of actually being romantically involved with one of them, then again, I could say the same thing about you, Nozomi. You whore and die. Wait, no, let me explain. The truth is, I've decided on you, Nozomiyo. You're the one I want to go on Christmas date with. As your future gigolo, I want you to be my first. Some cut with the jetty. <laughs> I'm dead. Sorry, I got carried away again. Please forgive me. I apologize earnestly. I'm not sure if she was playing along or being for real. <laughs> Unable to keep a straight face any longer, and there's only brush into life. Okay, she played along. And I can't help but do the same. I really miss having breakfast with her in the mornings. <clears throat> Nozomi is definitely white for you, too. She's such a good person. Kana is mommy for sure, though. If I knew a girl who fit that bill, I wouldn't be having this problem. I mean, let's face it, nobody wants to go out with a guy like me in the first place. I suddenly recall the conversation I had with Akizuki san yesterday. Alright. Well, I suppose you've never minded hanging out with a guy like me. Just talking to myself. Don't worry about it. Averting my eyes, I pick up the remote and flip on the TV instead. The commercial playing on TV suddenly catches Nozomi's attention. It's an ad for a nighttime amusement park, replete with colorful lit up rides and adorable dancing mascots. The perfect destination for a date. The Christmas parade at Mo's Land, huh? Nozomi's eyes glitter with gleeful excitement, brighter than the lights on TV. I'll never get over to the kissing noises. It's gross. Oh, him. The no maiden guy. <laughs> After arriving on campus, I spot a very visibly depressed Hiroto. Suddenly in the vicinity are even keeping students are in the vicinity. Students in the vicinity are keeping the distance from the aura of negativity using from him. Poor guy. Guess I'll have to cheer my pal up. Sup, Hiroto, it's your boy, Kosei. Hiroto glances my direction. Oh, I'm sorry. Then he heaves his biggest sigh yet. Bro, don't ignore me like that, bro. What's the matter with the white long face? He mumbles indistinctly. Must be something he doesn't want to say. 
Did your Christmas Eve date plans get canceled or something? <laughs> Crap, I was just throwing a guess out there. Sure ain't easy being a couple of losers like us. It's enough to make a man cry. Damn, that sucks. Poor guy. When the heck did you get a girlfriend? On Thursday? Thursday was yesterday, man. Pretty sure she wasn't your girlfriend yet. Damn, that sucks. It's crazy how motivated you get when it comes to women. What a simp. Oh, I get the feeling the only reason she gave you her number was because she was fighting with her boyfriend. I hate girls like that. Or people like that. She was mine yesterday. <laughs> he fires back indignantly. Uh, okay. Feeling pressured, I dropped the subject. Now he sounds like an insult. It's funny. C come on, cheer up, buddy. If you ask me, he's just making a fuzz over nothing, but I keep my thoughts to myself. Saying that out loud would be a very bad idea. Best to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> he looks down at his phone dejectedly. If I had a guess, he's looking over the purchase confirmation email. <laughs> that sounds like heck. Two single guys in a sea of normie couples? I'd probably die of embarrassment. Hey, it's not gay if you say no homo. What about your sister? You could go over there. <laughs> oh, Hidota, he's so dumb and funny. Oh, sure. With the holiday season being the most lucrative time of the year, suzune san has been working more zealously than ever. Can, can we just talk about Suzune? For, now that I'm talk, now that I'm reading about Suzune and we're talking to Hiroto, I just remembered how, like, we didn't even get to see Hiroto's reaction to like Suzune and Kosa. Like, we didn't see if he was supportive or against it or or nothing. See what I mean? I feel like they they robbed us so bad of Suzune. Like. <sighs> Natsume had like 20 episodes, and I love Natsume, but I think it was dragged far too much. Suzune was just straight up finessed. Like, we could have had more from her. I'm so upset about that. I'm sorry. It's been... That was a... That's something that happened last year. Sorry. That's not funny. That was something that I was tripping about a month ago, and now that I'm back here, I'm tripping about it again. Because it's not fair. It's just... <sighs> I swear, if May has... May has a May has a bigger or longer route. I'm gonna be upset. I'm gonna be very upset. <laughs> Don't. Karma's gonna bite you in the butt. Reselling is bad. Period. Why? Debay. Why go through all that trouble? Just hit up some guy with a girlfriend and. At that moment, Nozomi's face appears in my mind. Oh. Hmm. Actually, would you want to sell those to me? Huh? <laughs> Chill out. I don't, and the tickets aren't for me. I was just thinking of giving them to someone as a present. Someone who does a lot for me. So you'll sell them to me? We are that with a girlfriend. Whoops. Kind of. Uh, cool. Appreciate it. And so I've managed to get my hands on a couple of highly sought after Mose land. Mose mouse land tickets. Now I just need to give them to the Nozomi. This must be what Santa feels like. After quickly getting through the class, through class, I head straight for the cafe. Once I finish changing, I do one last check. Looking over myself in the mirror, everything appears to be in order. Nothing Suzuna-san could yell at me for. Alright, let's get to work. Firing myself up, I slam my locker shut. Whoosh. Whoosh. Morning. Any orders that I... Oh, that. Any orders that need to be taken care of? Sure. Sure. おはようございます。さあ、早く着替えて風呂場に出ないと。ん何か落ちてるけど。これは。Tickets. おはようございます。あ。
はようございますメイさんって何どうしたのそんなに慌てちゃって大変なんです休憩室でこんなの見つけちゃいまして、oh. take it. Uh. ネズミランドクリスマスレアチケットスーパーレアチケットじゃんそれ Whoops, I must have dropped them by mistake. Senpai go? Nanka, Niawana, I did with a name. Shut up, Susan. You don't have to say it. I mean, you're not wrong, but come on. I give the others a brief explanation, namely, how Hirota had given the tickets to me he spent hours on the phone to get, and how I was planning on giving them to Nozomi as a present. Tashka ni kore nara, Nozomi san mo okay ste kure ruka mo shire masen. ネズミーランドのクリスマスパレードなら鉄板ですしね。具体もたまには役に立つ。Judging by the reactions, I don't think we're on the same page here. Hold on, I'm not going. I'm just gifting the Nozomi because she said she wanted to go. She said she wanted to go. Therefore, her to go with a friend, not me. What kind of man are you? <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's no special meaning behind this. Nozomi just said she wanted to go to see the Christmas parade. Don't you think she'd have more fun going with someone like Kiyochi Dani san? Straight up. Why are you trashing on me? <laughs> What did I do to deserve these insults? He bowed off. The three women surround me, glaring reproachfully. I don't get it. Bro's about to, fu uh, blah, blah, blah. Bro's about to fumble the bag. I just wanted to spread some Christmas cheer by doing something good for someone. Why are you guys looking at me like that? All I want to do is give her a present. There you go. A date? But she's just my childhood friend. And there's only wants to go on a date with someone, it should be her choice. Yeah, but like, this is Christmas Eve we're talking about. It feels too much like an actual date. On God. Dating virginity. I'm dead. It's not that simple. I stared at the tickets Hiuchidani's son returned to me. All I wanted was to make Nozomi happy. But taking advantage of the situation to ask her on a date would be kind of unfair, wouldn't it? At any rate, I'm going to be busy with work on Christmas Eve anyway, so I'll just stick to playing Santa this time around. After that, I quickly leave the kitchen. Running away is my best option here. What a baby. Yeah, he did. Beat him up. Come in front of the girl that revealed she has had no experience nor man in her life. She's so goofy. I hate her sometimes. I love her, but I hate her. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, my ears start to hurt after a while. <clears throat> Phew, things are finally slowing down. Sat down my frying pan on the stove and then slowly exhale. We've been getting orders non stop ever since lunchtime. Akizuki san hands me a tray with two cups of coffee. Thanks. Well, why are there two though? Oh, I see. For some reason, her laugh sounds a bit more sinister than usual. Why do I get the feeling you're up to something? I squint suspiciously. Hmm. Although my intuition tells me something is off, I can't dawdle here forever. I'll head to the break room for now. But if Suzuna sounds lying and wait to ambush me, I'm getting the heck out of here. Ah, it's just you, Nozomi. <laughs> Her cheeks puff out in displeasure. That's not what I meant. I'm relieved you're here and not someone else. Smiling wryly, I set down the tray and sit next to her. It's all yours. Hmm? As I pass her the cup, I suddenly notice something. A small paper note folded under the saucer. Here's to losing your dating virginity, it reads. Oh, come on! 
Nothing. I quickly ball up the note in my first and my fist before she can spot it. I don't want her getting any weird ideas about me. As Nobi slips at her cafe, I'm not I'm not gonna try reading that. I stealthily smooth open the note again. Although I wanted to throw it out, I can't do it. After all, under the words, here's the losing your dating virginity, it said. <laughs> She's funny. There's a frightening postscript attached. While I doubt she has the power to actually curse me, I don't want to take any chances. She is a Green Reaper, I must remember. Careful not to let Nozomi notice how you unfurled the note even further. There's more. A sweet declaration of support from you, Chidan. No, not Sumi, don't say that. A brief message from Shiki, who had somehow found out all about this. Some motherly words of encouragement from Akizu. She's literally our mom or grandma. True. And finally, a rather inspiring scribble from Suzune that seems to assume I'll be rejected off the bat. This whole thing was your idea in the first place. <laughs> Sorry, are you okay? It's all about my outburst. Nozomi begins to choke in her coffee. I hurriedly gave her a, give her back a few vigorous dumps. Jeez. Don't forget to chew it. Oh, don't say that, Nozomi. Here we go, messing around again. Something's never changed. <sighs> nah, it was all my fault in the first place. Huh? Oh, uh... Yo, Nozomi, can't you see? You and me, we're meant to be. At least that's what everyone's been telling me. But, yeah, I'd never see that. It's nothing, really. Just thinking about some stuff. I try to dodge the question. Smart one. She's so dramatic. What are you, my mom? Nozomi pats at me theatrically. She leaves an adorable airhead sometimes. No, it's just nothing important. Anyway, I have something for you. Here. I pull out the two tickets and hand them to Nozomi. Her eyes grow wide when she sees what they are. <laughs> yep. Pretty sweet, huh? Wait, that's what you're upset about? That's not the reaction I was expecting. <laughs> not think none of us were expecting that. Why is my phone ringing? Jeez, I didn't realize Zomio had such strong opinions about the issue. What a consci conscientious citizen. Thankfully, I haven't done what she thinks I have. Don't worry, these tickets were bought through legitimate means, using legitimate money. There's no need to feel guilty about accepting them. Nozomi finally breaks into a smile, however. She quickly turns beet red from the neck up. Wait, 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 calm down, Nozomi-san. This is my way of thanking you for everything you do, that's all. I just want to be your Santa for today. Can a guy not be nice? Look, okay, I'm giving you both of them so you can go with a friend. I desperately, <laughs> I desperately tried to clarify the situation. Dang, I can feel my own face starting to grow red too. Did everyone egging me on? I'm feeling unusually conscious about the zombie right now. They clearly like each other. She plays her hand her, on her chest to her chest in relief. Typical Nozomi, always worrying about like some kind of mom. 
about me like some kind of mom pretty much sums up our relationship you and Hichidan and San don't have shifts on Christmas Eve, right? Take her with you. Sorry, Hichidan and San. Looks like you'll have to be Nozomi's day after all. Because at the end of the day, Nozomi and I... <laughs> Are you serious? Our simply childhood... No way, this is how it's gonna end. See you later, guys. Today, Nozomi stuck around until closing time. It's getting late, Nozomi. Why don't I take you home? Huh? No problem. Be careful, you two. Try not to stay out too late. Nozomi and Huchidani san set off towards the station, chattering merrily. Well, the thought of two young women along at night worries me a little. It'd be pretty tactless of me to follow them home. Shiki san suddenly calls out from behind me. Oh, please. I'm just a little worried about them. I turn around to reply. Yeah, but they'll split up at some point. Probably grabbing a bite somewhere, taking a bath, then going to bed. Gotta get up early again tomorrow. Oh? Wait, are you, uh... I didn't even finish my sentence yet. Knew dang well what I was about to say. <laughs> Guess it's not going to be that easy to lose my dating virginity. What? Sure, I guess. Hey, this is Nozomi's route. What's happening? Though I was planning on walking Nozomi home, I ended up having dinner with Shiki-san. No way. That's just full of surprises sometimes. Oh, I'm surprised, all right. What? What? That's crazy. What? Okay. I, okay, look. I'm thinking this. While it is possible that they just end this route, and this could be the one route where they just stay friends, but I actually wouldn't be too opposed by that, actually. But then I could see them two dating as well, you know? Interesting. I just think it's really interesting how they went to the same place as in her own route, you know what I mean? That's so cool. And then it's her, of all people, you know what I mean? Could have been Kana, or it could have been Mei. Interesting. I had a feeling you were going to ask me this. Did Akizuki-san or someone put you up to this? I gave Nozomi the tickets. Yes. A smile spreads across Shiki-san's face. I gave her both of them and told her to invite a friend. <laughs> that smile, the smile quickly turns into a frown. I only wanted to make her happy, you know, as a childhood friend. I didn't feel right to use that as an excuse to push her and go on a date with me. You're right. Nozomi and I aren't like that. I do. What? Of course not. I mean, that'd just be plain mean. What? I care about you too, you know? Seriously? You're just gonna ignore me? Girls are complicated. Just as I get out of my bath, out of the bath, my phone dings. I pick it up. Oh, it's Nozomi. Good for her. That's a relief. I was a little worried Hiuchidani-san would refuse and try to make me go instead. But I suppose she couldn't turn down Nozomi down face to face. That's great. Good night. I tap out a short reply and press send. Now then, time to hit the sack. Hmm? Nozomi again? Why'd you turn on the light for I'll reply tomorrow. To be honest, I don't even know what kind of stuff they sell at Mouseland. Good night, Nozomi. Since my last message was a little curt, I tap out a slightly longer one this time. I get that she's excited, but I need to sleep. There, conversation over. Now time for bed. I reach for the light switch. Dang it! 
Before I can flick it off, my phone dings again. Have you not heard of the Not Disturbed mode? Reluctantly, I pick it up. Following her message is a URL. She's going to keep me up all night tonight, isn't she? Non-sexual meaning. Due to the sheer force of habit, I click the link. Pink hairband with ribbons? With giant mouse ears attached to it, no less. What the heck would I do with that? Just get me cookies or something. Talk to you more. Good night. Good night. Adio. What? And send. I bid her farewell three times. There shouldn't be any more messages after that. Another one. Please, Nozomi. I'm tired. She really can't take a hint, can she? Exasperated, I pick up my phone once more. The things I put up with sometimes. Following that are three more heart emojis. I feel my cheeks growing warm. This is the first time a girl has ever texted me something like that. Wait, come on now. Am I drunk or something? This is the zombie we're talking about. I need some water. I head over to the sink and pour myself a cup. While I'm at it, I stick my head under the tap as well. Ugh. For some reason, my face won't stop burning up. You want her, you want her, and she wants her shoe. That's all it is. That's all it is. She wants her shoe, you want hers. Aww. What do you do? Why are you crying, Nozomi chan? I didn't even do anything. <laughs> what did I do? Huh? What? No way. That's cute as sh That's where the first heartbreak happened. I just wanted to give her some handouts from school. Yoko-chan had a cold, she had a missed class. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. But you're not in elementary school yet. Don't cry, Nozomi chan. Oh no. <laughs> An incredibly ticklish sensation forces me awake. Open my eyes to find Nozomi sitting on top of me, tickling both my armpits. Ew, dude. Off my armpits, that's nasty. Stop that, Nozomi. That tick. <laughs> Stop it. No! <laughs> I desperately <laughs> I desperately try to escape, but Nozomi won't let me go. This is entering dangerous territory. Not only am I being tickled to death, but Nozomi's thighs are rubbing against my crotch as well. Oh heck yeah! This isn't good, especially not first thing in the morning. Oh, dude, just get up. Leave. She reaches a hand out towards my defenseless groin. Ah, oh, wait, stop, Nozomi! That air is off limits. <gasps> nice. Dang, that sucks. Finally realizing what it is to someone that's had an ear splitting streak. Quite frankly, though, I'm the one who feels like screaming. Yeah, why is she screaming for? Thanks for the food. Breakfast at the Dakomina residence this morning begins rather awkwardly. Not that either of us is to blame necessarily, or so I'd like to think. What is it, Nozomi san? She apologizes, bro. <laughs> Blushing red from head to toe. Her eyes even seem a little moist. Uh, it's okay, don't worry about it. I'm sorry, too. I apologize as well. It was no doubt an uncomfortable experience for a young woman her age. However, she shakes her head from side to side. True. Bro, you're like 20, you can't do that anyway. Silly ghost? Nah, it's fine. You don't need to do that. I'd be pretty sad if she started to act all guard around me. Alright, alright, I get it. Alright, alright. 
Seriously? Well, there goes my self-confidence. Yeesh. My shoulder- It's small then. My shoulder slump is out on my forearms. <laughs> Zomi, just shut up. <laughs> you need to shut up. She hastily tries to backtrack, blushing wildly. Her side ponytail quivers violently. She's really freaking out. Let's just drop the subject. It's hardly something to talk about at the breakfast table anyway. I throw her a lifeline. Hmm? When did I call you that? Ah, it's all coming back to me now. I was dreaming about us when we were kids. Yeah, do you remember? Back when you were in kindergarten, there was this one time you threw a huge tantrum, bawling your eyes out. Well, that's understandable. You were only a few years old back then. Apparently, I'm the only one who remembers the fuss she made. Uh... That sucks. It'd be kind of awkward to tell her. She's forgotten all about it. I read another day back up. You were crying because you dropped your donut. But then you stopped after I applied the three second rule, wiped it off, and gave it back to you. <laughs> An angry vein pulses near her temple. She balls her hand into a fist and smiles. Sorry, I may have embellished the story a little. I prostrate myself over the table in apology. Of course I'm not. What are you, my mom? Nozomi's always been the feminine type, or rather, the domestic type. Uh, it's fine, I can do it myself. Please don't phrase it like that. I know she's not doing it on purpose, but still, if someone else were to hear her, there'd be a misunderstanding for sure. Hey, yo, watch it. Oh? Looks like I've gotten one step closer to becoming your gigla. The two of us laugh, leisurely enjoying our breakfast. What a peaceful morning. When I'm with, with Zomi, I truly feel at home. I hope you only hit you out. I hope you and you Chidani san have fun tonight. Hmm? What? Oh crap, I quickly crammed the remainder of my breakfast in my mouth. Gotta go, remember to lock up on your way out. Yeah, thanks. Zomi waves goodbye to me as I leave the apartment. As I depart, I'm struck by a sudden thought. Is it just me, or do we kind of seem like a pair of newlyweds living together? Bro, just ask her out. Good morning, everybody. What do you mean? The two of them stare intently at my face. Wow, Shiki-san, that's a pretty harsh way to greet someone first thing in the morning. At least she had the courtesy to correct herself, I suppose. Well, not exactly. She just grabbed onto my meat. I don't want to hear that again. I just remembered something nice. The one time in my life I had girls fighting over me. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. More importantly, what are you doing here so early? Hard worker, aren't you? About the cafe? Well, now I'm even more curious. 
She got a city off. Soon, Sun and Shiki san trot off towards the kitchen. Today is Christmas Eve, but possibly the busiest day of the year. What's more, Nozomi and Hiochidani san aren't scheduled to work. Looks like I'll have to kick it into high gear today. While I was slapping my own cheeks to pump myself up, I head towards the kitchen as well. Still, as long as everyone pulls their weight, I'm sure we'll be fine. Maybe. <laughs> but, soon, but I soon learned how naive I was to think that. <laughs> Come much time, all oh, had broken loose. The cafe was a whirlwind of activity. I've been practically flipping my frying pan non stop. What? Another one? That sucks. Dang. Zuna-san, meanwhile, has been producing dish after dish with inhuman, inhuman speed and skill. Plus, she's shifting to maximum overdrive. She's been moving at least three times faster than usual. This is the difference between a professional like her and a part-timer like me. Sorry, but please let me focus right now. My brain's already about to go kaput trying to remember all these orders. First, I'll cook the omelette, then the carbonara. Wait, I'll need to boil the pasta water first. After that, uh, I'll have to mix the soy sauce in the bowl, add that boiled eggs and roast pork. I'm losing my mind. I don't know what's so funny, but I randomly start cackling. Shiki walks over with a look of concern on her face. Me? Yeah, I'm fine. Totally. What kind of co-workers I have? Shiki-san. Very cool. Oof, she was worried about the food. Shikisan pulls out her phone. She appears to be messaging someone. Wait, you got Hyuchidani son to come? What about her plans with Nozomi? Heck yeah. But don't girls need time to prepare before they go out? Still, I feel bad for her. Look, I'll find a way to manage. Tohyo Chidan san she doesn't need to. Dang, that was fast. How did you get here so fast? She already changed into her uniform and everything. The two of them quickly switch into combat mode instead of work. Since she's already here, I guess there's nothing I can do about it. But now, I should just focus on my cooking. But heck, with Yuchidan san with us now, this will be a piece of cake. Gotta love reinforcements. But I soon learned how much of a dummy I was for thinking that. Where are all these customers coming from? A bit of Kanzai dialect slips out as I frantically toss my frying pan full of pasta. Again? What's with all these events lately? That said, I'm kinda interested in checking it out myself this time. At Shiki san's car, everyone holds together. お客さんはしばらく減りそうにもない。ですね。さっき外にまで列ができてましたし、そうなるとキッチンより接客スタッフがいるね。そこで提案というか、日内谷さんにお願いなんだけど、今日はこのままラストまで入ってくれない？O
It's starting to sound like the matter's already settled. Hold up, what about Nozomi? If you stay here, she's going to have to go see the Christmas parade alone. I can't accept that. I feel terrible for her. I refuse to allow my childhood friend to spend Christmas Eve all by herself. Eh? I'll do it, I'll do anything. I answer without hesitation. I'll spare no effort if it means preventing Nozomi's Christmas from being ruined. Absolutely. Uh, I don't like this. I won't. Huh? For what purpose? Now I'm starting to have second thoughts. No, he's not. He's not right. What? How did it come to that? We won't be able to contain her shock. Uh huh. Interesting. Akizuki-san flashes me a slice mark. Well, if you're going to make that argument, I can transition to waiting tables instead, while Hiuchidani-san sticks to her original plans. She bows her head low. Be beseechingly. All the girls stare at me pointedly. Talk about peer pressure. But still, don't you think Nozomi would be disappointed if I went with her instead of Yuchidani? Facts. Fine, I'll try asking Nozomi herself then. I pull out my phone. Eh? But Kizuki-san stops my arm. What? That's a little inconsiderate, don't you think? You're really helping our boy get laid. Alright, <laughs> fine. Worst of all, would it would be... What's the what would be if nobody went with Nozomi? For now, I decided to go meet her so I can at least explain the situation. Man, why'd you have to pick today of all days to be absent, Mikado? This had to be done on purpose. <clears throat> I don't doubt it. <laughs> I know it. I know it. I know it. Aww. <laughs> Damn, that's wild. How nice of him, though. <clears throat> hey, Nozomi. Nozomi. Took a while, given how packed the station is at tonight. Is tonight, but I finally managed to locate Nozomi. Well, about that. I give her a rundown of the situation. Alright guys, I had to pause the game because my camera was... For some weird reason, it's never done this before. It just got too hot and it just stopped recording. I just noticed too, like after... <laughs> after messing with my lighting, with my, for my circle light, that... The brightness was so high up, so most of the face cam, I looked super stupid bright for no reason, so I apologize for that. I just adjusted the light so it looks a little better, I think. But I'm testing the low light because it's pitch black outside, so. And there's low light in here. I just have my lava lamp in the back and the candle. But, yeah, I'm gonna try this low light. In fact, I like how it looks with the background. It looks really nice. But anyways, sorry. Let's continue. I'm gonna, go I'm gonna run it for a few more minutes and then we're gonna end it here. It's just getting long. They definitely were setting us up. Yes. Huh? Why do you say that? Yeah, it is. Yeah. 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 I guess I see what you mean. At that moment, my phone dings. It's the message notification sound. I'll pull it out to take a look. Look at this. I show her my phone. On the screen is a text from Suzune-san. Congratulations on losing your dating virginity. 
followed by a picture of everyone giving me the thumbs up. And in the middle of the group, striking the same pose, but looking rather uncomfortable, is Mikado. I don't think it's a common expression, no. Yes, sir! You can take everything you want and grab anything you want, Nozomi. Fluster, Nozomi turns bright red all the way to her ears. Why is it a big deal? A cunning playboy. What is this, some light novel? It is actually. Sure, I did get a second lease on life, but this ain't no isekai. Man, this isn't good though. Nozomi's really freaking out here. Just calm down for a sec. You can call someone else right now to go with you. You've got tons of friends, right? At least one of them must be free tonight. It's not every day you get tickets to see the Christmas parade. I'm sure her classmates would jump at the chance to go. Yeah, but... It's not about me tonight, it's about you. Also, please stop saying that. Hearing it from her mouth just makes it even more depressing. She pulls out her phone. Yeah, but after a moment, she puts it away. What are you doing? You're not gonna have enough time if you don't hurry. Oh, she better confess and you did- and you couldn't do it, Kosa, you're a wuss. Aww. Aww, she said Chan. Ko Chan, she said. Perhaps it slipped out unconsciously. Bro, what? Oh, I thought my camera was about to act up again. Sorry. I can't help but recall the dream I had this morning. The lines between the young Nozomi who insisted on marrying me and the present day Nozomi seemed to blur. She grabs my jacket, giving it a small tug. You sure you want to go with me? Aww. Eh? She smiles sweetly. Uh, I can feel my face growing hot in spite of myself. Crap. Why? This is Nozomi we're talking about. We've been friends forever. What's there to be embarrassed about? Yes, sir. N no, it's not. I've got to hide my embarrassment from her somehow. My pride's at stake here. I've got to convince myself there's nothing to get worked up about. We're just childhood friends. We're just childhood friends. We're just childhood friends. Nothing. Alright, that should do it. Inside my head, Nozomi had been sliding towards the romantic interest side of things, but I've managed to push her firmly back towards the childhood friend category. Why is he so against being with Nozomi? Like, bro, he's so weird. The self-proclaimed lady graciously holds out her right hand. I hate it. It's annoying. I wonder if there's a Caesarea around here. Caesarea? Wow, that's a tough word. Or how about we eat just at Zukia, Lady Nozomi? A cheap joint. Ouch, she elbows me painfully in the ribs. Ow, cut it out. Oof. Uh, I know. She puffs off her cheeks. She puffs out her cheeks angrily. What a demanding lady, this one. Truth be told, though, I don't really have much cash on me. The tickets were pretty expensive, after all. What? Nah, you don't. I want to say she doesn't have to, but with the money I have on hand, I can't afford anything but the cheapest restaurants around. Why for up, dude? What are you doing? I'm actually afraid he's gonna friends on her. But I wouldn't be against it either. It'd be interesting to see her change, you know? Well, alright then. Dragging me by the arm, Nozomi leads me towards the place in question. Ramen? Kojiro? Chatter, chatter. As we enter the ramen bar together, the men around us begin to murmur. <laughs> Excuse me. Amongst them, 
amongst themselves. <laughs> She's such a fatty. Well, the poisons here are certainly huge. Still, the coming here on Christmas Eve, of all nights, this place is a sanctuary for men. Are you sure you want to eat here, Lady Nozomi? should probably just stick to the reg, but before I could finish... <laughs> Nozomi went ahead and ordered for the both of us. You fool, you foolish fool! Do you know what you've done? Why is he... S why, why? You'll find out soon enough. Turn towards the counter, I brace myself for the inevitable. Oh my god. Nozomi instantly freezes at the colossal mountain of ramen placed in front of her. Though the smile remains on her face, she seems rooted in her chair. Apparently her mind is having a bit of trouble processing reality. <laughs> you did? <laughs> Nozomi, it's time to face reality. This is exactly what you ordered, an extra large ramen. Seriously. <laughs> this giant heap of bean sprouts is the ramen they serve here. Yes. <laughs> I love Nozomi. Not as much as the others, but she, she's, she's cool. Damn, we only move one section. That's crazy. But I might have to end it here because I told myself that I was going to keep these episodes now, the visual novels, at least one hour or less. I have to chill out because I'd be jumping almost to two hours. So this is me trying to, you know, pull myself together here. You see what I'm saying? Wow, I like this episode. This episode was really fun. There was definitely a lot, like a lot of, well, I wouldn't say a lot of things we learned about her, but... We definitely got some background on her in the sense of like how how far they go back, you could say. I, I really, that was really interesting, the whole childhood thing. Like it's a very, it's clear as day that this girl has liked him for like forever. And this was just a big, dumb, virgin idiot. But anyways, that's all I got to say about this episode. I really liked this episode. That was so wholesome. I like baby, uh, what's her face? Baby Nozomi. She's so adorable. But I'm going to end the video here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, you already know what to do. Smash that like button. Like if it's your hot step sibling. I don't know what you're into. Gay or guy, girl. Bestiality. I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to end the video here, though. <laughs> Once again, thank you so much. If you did enjoy, hit that like. Subscribe if you haven't. Share this video with your homies. We need to grow. My New Year's resolution is to get out of the 600 subscribers margin. At least hit 700 before the end of this, this year now. It's 2023 already. Could you guys believe that? I can't. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to make it this far. I always joke about that, but I'm actually being serious at the same time. <laughs> I never like, I guess I just never seen the future that far out, you know? Not necessarily that I was like trying to commit suicide or something. But anyways, that, that's all. Okay, I'm sorry. I keep getting sidetracked. Oh, a friendly reminder also, if you have any game suggestions, let me know in the comment section below. And that's it. I'm going to let you guys go. Once again, thank you so much for watching. And as always... Until next time, gang.